Hey plant gang, uh, thanks for joining us to learn about Juniperus conferta, the shore juniper. Now this is a wonderful low growing juniper that can really handle a variety of conditions. Uh, that's a really tough one for a full sun situation. So this juniper is, has a form that we would refer to as decumbent. And that means that it is low growing, laying against the ground, uh, but then curving upward. And so you can see that this is a low growing plant uh, and then the extremities of the plant, they grow, they grow towards the sky upward. Uh, this is a plant that's used very effectively on hill banks, hillsides. That uh, specific epithet, conferta, uh, that is Latin for crowded, uh, which really show, tells you a little bit about uh, the foliage of this plant. Uh, but I love it for the texture. There's a lot of great cultivars, uh, cultivars that have a little bit more of a bluish cast to them, cultivars that have a very nice gold cast to them. Uh, and so you really want to uh, match the cultivar uh, to the situation uh, that you have in that landscape. So it's called a shore juniper because it is native to sandy coastal regions of Japan uh, and also some islands off the coast of Russia. Uh, really a dense, low spreading habit is the hallmark of this juniper. It, because it's native to some coastal areas, it actually can handle a little bit of salt spray and so uh, very adaptable to be planted on the edge of a sidewalk where you might be afraid that they might use uh, things like melting salts, uh, in the winter time. Uh, so maybe think about that. Hardy from zone six through nine, just getting uh, right at a foot to a foot and a half tall. I have seen it mound up to about two, two and a half feet uh, after many, many years. Uh, spreading out six to eight foot wide. Uh, it will stay evergreen year round. Uh, but uh, a lot of our ground cover jun junipers are more cold tolerant than shore juniper. Uh, this is probably truly a zone six plant. Uh, tolerant of deer, drought, uh, can make a great erosion control as well. Here's a landscape tip. A versatile, sprawling ground cover that tolerates hot, dry locations in full sun.